morning. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Let's go ahead and get to our reading. I'll pull an Earth Oracle and go from there. If you've never been to my channel before, I do not take jumpers. I wait for my guides and angels to tell me the cards are in the order that they be to be in. And while bad things do sometimes happen, I will always try to find a positive outcome. My name's Lori, and I'm also known as Cy Moon, and this is my channel. All right, let's go ahead and get to our guidance for the day. See what messages come through. Let's start with the Earth Oracle, Divine Love. Oh boy, that's a mouthful, isn't it? It's all about divine love. Divine love that we feel for ourselves, the divine love that we feel within our heart and souls, the divine love that we feel within our brothers and sisters, within the plants and the trees and the flowers and all the animals, that divine love that calls us to it. It's everywhere. And when it's being dimmed, it's calling out even more. And I pray that we all tune in now to all the sounds of nature and to the divine's love calling out to us from the darkness within our brothers and sisters and the shadows within the earth so we can all work on healing the grief of this planet of all angelic beings of light so that all of us may know true freedom that comes from speaking our truth as only we can for we are all individuals on this quest of the path to ascension, this journey, this hero's journey together, this quest of life, we may pick up the cup and travel with our brothers and sisters, fellow questers, if you will, on this path to ascension, but we're all different, all of us, none of us are alike. Everything that we've learned within this world and all the information that we came here with is for us alone. Our experiences, the way we grew up and how we were taught to interact or not taught to interact, all molded us into the person that we are so that we may shine our light authentically with who we are to help others find their way back home on this path to ascension, this path to light. Let's go ahead and get a Wisdom of the Oracle card. It's so important that everybody continue to speak their truth and be provided with the opportunity to do so. Sometimes people just need a sounding board. Sometimes people just need to start speaking their truths and putting it out there for others to hear while they wait for those reactions to better understand themselves and how their energy is being perceived within the world. It's the only way to truly work on it. If you're stuck right now wondering how you're presenting to the world and would like some help, reach out to me. I'll be glad to show you some of the things that I've done in my life to help me align myself, if you will, or bring myself back to heart center when I feel out of alignment, which does happen. It always does. And then I do my best to follow the cycles of the moon. I do. Absolutely. I love the earth, moon, and stars. Father above and earth beneath my feet. I absolutely do. This year, we're actually turning the wheel on this channel. We're going to do live get-togethers in Zoom. This year, for Bowl, which is February 1st, we are actually going to make candle wheels. I invite you to do it with us. I'll put um, a link to my newsletter in the description below. The current issue of my newsletter is all about making rose water infused with the power of the full moon in Leo, which will be happening on February 5th. However, this Sunday, I will be putting out a newsletter with all the information about Embol and how Ireland is giving Brigid the own national holiday, St. Brigid's Day. How awesome is that? It's going to be truly glorious, but in my newsletter, I'll have all the information and how the Zoom link and all the supplies needed to make candle wheels. All right, let's go ahead and get this Wisdom of the Oracle card. Now, that was a mouthful. I don't know where all that came from, but it should be fun, and I do hope you take it up with me. Come and turn the wheel with me. Let's make some candle wheels together. Use our sympathetic magic to call back the sun. Well, that's what Embol is. It's midwinter. Halfway between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. 
Yes, in the days of old, when Brigid would wander the earth to bring the warmth back to hearth and home. Absolutely. All kinds of celebrations going on for it. Poised, to remain poised always in the face of fear, in the face of everything. To remain poised as the stars we are, the children of the divine, to be able to shine our light always. And yes, the divine knows that many of us have felt orphaned, orphaned from our family and the true love of the divine of which we seek. And that's why I've been working between worlds, as most of you have, to truly enlighten the fate to come back to the light, to let them know how loved they are. Well, we have to enlighten the faith to our love and need for them. They need to understand that we're calling them home. I wish to have my family back with me, don't you? I wish to allow their magic to fill the hearts of so many and just let them learn about love, light, and true laughter down from the depths of their soul as we work with the Tuatha de Danon and truly bring love and light back to the world. And use a little luck of the Irish, if you will, with the Tuatha de Danon and Brigid. Yes, the daughter of Dagda. Yes, he was the highest god in the pantheon of the Tuatha de Danon. I welcome him daily into my life. Brigid as well, all the Tuatha de Danon, the Fae, the fairies, the sprites, the Fae people, however you wish to call them, they are all welcoming within my life. I will also be putting out information on how to make a fairy garden, if you will, so that you can work on inviting them into your life. It's a glorious thing. It's not real hard. You know, you can start with just the basics of things to set out some shinies and a little saucer with some good honey in it or some milk. Yeah. Invite them in. Welcome them. Absolutely. Give them a place to roam within your house freely amongst the plants and then just give them access to your entire home. Sure. Yard, heart, everything. Work with them. Live with them. Let their love just shine brightly in your life. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Yeah, we always need to look at the bigger picture because when we look at the bigger picture, then we can see our parts even clearer. We can see that we can't do this alone. We can't raise the vibration of a planet by keeping our brothers and sisters at bay, by holding our hand out and saying, no, you're too different for me. You're not fucking welcome here. You have more power than I have. I'm afraid of you. Get the fuck out of here. We're, we're not allowed to do that anymore. Now it's all about welcoming all angelic beings of light within your heart and life to love them and hold space for all angelic beings of light, not just the ones you get along with. It's for everyone, all angelic beings of light. There is no separation in the 5D, or there should not be. And those wolves in sheep's clothing who found their way there are being eradicated as we speak. They will exist no more. Time to time, one may get in, but Everybody will be armed with the knowledge of what they have to do to remove them from their life and no longer fall prey to malicious animal magnetism. People wanting to snuff out the light of those that around them and have them do their will. That's just not going to happen anymore. That shit is gone. It's the ways of the past and it will be no more. We're going back to the very beginnings of time and serving true reverence to the divine with all of our gifts and abilities and pure magic from the fae and love of the divine. Yes. Yeah. Find out come springtime, I guess. They're here now. They're, they're, they're ready. They're willing. And they're able. Yes. Well, you know, Brigid was um, in charge of metalsmithing, poetry, writing, craftsmanship of all kinds. I say welcome her into your heart now. Invite her back to walk amongst you, 
and to fill your heart, to be your muse, to help you seek that love, light, and laughter and develop your craft, no matter what it is. Do you write? Do you sing? Do you write poetry, verse, prose, a book, fiction, nonfiction? Invite them in. Ask Brigitte into your heart and soul. Ask her to bring the fae into your life, to truly show you the ways of nature and truly enlighten you to the way of the fae and allow your heart to soar to derive the inspiration that you need, no matter what it is that you like to do within this life. True emergence, if you will. Yes, be with one with the fae, be one with all angelic beings, Take part in the rebirth of a nation that's going to happen in spring. Oh, but it is. Come springtime, the rebirth is going to be spectacular. As the fae come home and Rose goes into full bloom and Mother takes us all by the hand and welcomes us to her, to work with her plants, her children, her love, her strength and power as we are guided by our Father's love above. It's gonna be truly spectacular. We just need to remember to keep ourselves grounded and allow the serendipitous nature of all to truly come into our lives and show us the many blessings and love within our lives. For truly rewarded of having that loyal heart to truly love our parents and work with the Fae and welcome all angelic beings of light into our home, into our sacred space, and hold that space for them and love them as they begin to learn who they are and lift themselves up in love and light as they rid themselves of the shadows of their past and the darkness that has consumed their soul. Work with me to work with the Fae on cleaning it all up as we all learn to co-create Yes, to co-create with our brothers and sisters in this faded life that we have and truly write down our stories and let it become just like the never-ending story. Truly the movie, The Never-Ending Story, when Bastion names the childlike princess and the childlike princess tell Bastion that all hope is not gone with the one speck of light all he has to do is make a wish to bring, what was the name of it? What was the name of the city? Oh, I don't remember the name of the city. But in the never ending story, it was truly glorious. And all we have to do is wish as well to make a wish and bring it to fruition so the love, light, and laughter may resound throughout the entire universe as our hearts become filled with the love of the divine and we learn to dance and walk amongst the stars above and truly reach out our hands in kindness, compassion, and forgiveness always. All right, let's go ahead and get a healing energy. Yeah, it's going to be great come springtime. Wow. The, the childlike princess, the Emerald City, that was The Wizard of Oz, which is absolutely a great movie. The worst of a different color when they go through. Oh, I love The Wizard of Oz. Yep. I don't remember the name of the city. Oh, well. It'll come to me at some point, I'm sure. Never-ending story, though, is a great one. And, you know, and our stories are never-ending. They just keep going and going and going. They do, like the Energizer Bunny. We can either choose to take, it, take an active role in our lives or sit on the sidelines. But I wanna tell you, for those of us on the hero's journey, sitting on the sidelines is never an option. It just doesn't work out. We want to embrace our shadows. We wanna tackle the changes that we need to make in order to raise our vibration and that of our brothers and sisters so that we all may walk as one within this world and the next. Yes, absolutely. Well, you don't think it ends once you die, do you? You get to do it again, or come back and do it again, or choose your destiny different next time. Yes, speak with your angels, guides, and fairies. Work it all out. Allow the transformation to take place 
and always continue to evolve into the angelic being of light that you truly are. We are only humans living a spiritual existence. It's learning to be that spiritual being all over again within this human body. We're not learning to be human. We are human. We're learning to be spiritual and raise the vibration of this planet again. Please help me spread that word so that everybody gets it right. We are but humans learning to live a spiritual existence and raise the vibration of the planet. True transformation. I am constantly evolving. I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths. Life ensures I'm presented with situations that will help me learn and grow. I am aware of my progress and I open my wings to the light. And I pray you do as well. As you open your heart and you soar to the heavens above and you travel the astral realm, the ethereal realms, and you truly seek that knowledge for that inner knowing and you work with the master DNA of the universe to truly create your dreams create your reality, create your destiny with your abilities and gifts. Creation. I have the power to direct my life. With a constructive attitude, I create what is best for my soul. I firmly believe I can transform and improve my inner and outer worlds by turning every thought into affirmative action. I act in the image of God and bring light into my life. And you do. And I pray you always do. All right, bright blessings to you always. Go ahead and check out my newsletter. I'll put the link in the description. And I'll also put a link to a meditation there. It is a nice Buddhist chant that will truly open up all of your chakras and align your heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit. All right, love and light to you always. I wish you the very best. Bright blessings to you and namaste. And yes, stay weird. Bye. Oh, Hannah. Yeah, I love Stitch. I really do. There's nothing quite like family. Bye-bye. I'll talk to you later.